What's up Team Buckhouse, Jonathan Buckhouse here and it is time for another resort review. This is a video series where we go to a new ski resort, we rip it, we have a great day there, then we come back here and we give it a score from zero to 100. The way we're gonna get that score is we're gonna go over 10 categories, each category getting a rank from zero to 10. Zero is not applicable, meaning they don't have it at all. One is terrible. Five is average and 10 is best in the world. Not only are we gonna give the score from zero to 100, but I will also tell you who I think this resort is for. And the resort on the chopping block today is Heavenly Ski Resort in Tahoe, California. Established in 1955, Tahoe has a vertical feet of 3,500 and 4,800 skiable acres. This resort is absolutely massive. This resort is also on the Epic Pass, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and we're gonna jump right into this video. Starting with lift prices, how expensive is it to come to Heavenly uh, during the season? And for a Saturday in January, it comes out to be about $150 for the day, but it's also on the Epic Pass, so you can get the Epic Pass for around $529. So it's a pretty average price for these big ski resorts owned by Vail Resorts. So I gave them a five, an average, because that's what it's gonna cost if you go to any Vail ski resort. So I thought that five is average. Now ease of access, says how easy is it to get to Heavenly and it's not that bad. So if you're gonna fly there, you're gonna fly into Reno, Nevada, you get to drive for about an hour and five minutes to get to the bottom of the ski resort. And then from there, you gotta either take a tram or the gondola up to the top. It's not that bad. So when it came to ease of access, I gave them a six. Now lodging, where are you gonna stay when you go to this resort? And honestly, you have your pickings from whatever you want. The resort offers from top of the top of the line places to stay with the fanciest whatever you want. So I, I've always stayed at Airbnbs or hotels around the place. There's lodging everywhere there. So when it came to lodging, I gave them a 10 because literally you could get do whatever you want when it comes to lodging. Ski in, ski out, to like staying where I am. But anyways. Now I have a goal to ride every resort in the United States. There's over 460 resorts and we're slowly knocking off the list. We're at 72 resorts ridden. We're gonna ride 50 more resorts this season, make more resort reviews for you guys. So the way you guys can track that is resortskimaps.com. It's my resort map where you can check out every resort in the United States. All the green ones are the ones we've ridden. You can click on them and watch the vlogs from that area, but you can also check out the resort scores and see how this resort compares to other ski resorts. But also this one's on the Epic Pass. You can literally go to the tab where it says Epic and see all of the epic resorts in the United States or all of the icon resorts. You can literally use this to plan any trip you want. This is the ultimate tool for skiers and snowboarders and it's also a great place to just waste like an hour of your day. So check out the resort map, resortskimaps.com. It's linked in the description. Now chairlifts, how are we gonna get up the mountain? And this place has a gondola and a tram mainly meant to just get you to the mountain. This mountain literally has 20 lifts all from six packs to four packs to two chairlifts. Like you're gonna get up the mountain. So when it comes to chairlifts, I gave them an eight, mainly because the tram is so cool. Make sure you ride the tram when you go to Heavenly. Now runs, why does the lift matter if the runs aren't sick? And they have 97 trails and they're pretty sick. They're pretty like, they have almost, almost everything you want. They don't have any bull riding. The, the big mountain gnarly shoots, things like that. They don't really have that, but they do have like tree riding. You got some steep terrain. You got a bunch of moguls if you want to ride that. You got your blues, your greens. You got your every type of terrain you're trying to find. So when it came to runs, I gave them a seven. Now park, how sick is their park? And sadly, it's a classic story of their resorts buying a resort and tearing apart the park. So they used to have this insane park. It used to be called like the High Rollers Park or something like that. It was really like pushing skiing and snowboarding and the train park and everything. And that's not the case anymore. They have a garbage big park at the top. And then they have this really awesome groove park. That's like this tiny park that we mainly ride. It had two really good jumps in there. It does get really slow and kind of lame, but the fact that you can get a lap every two seconds, it's almost like tow rope laps but with a chairlift there. So the group park is definitely the park you wanna ride if you go to Heavenly. But overall, the park is not what it used to be. The first year I went to Heavenly, the park was amazing. And then it's died down ever since then. Uh, so they got a four when it comes to park.
Now, before we continue, guys, please consider snagging an Evolution sticker. We have a ski version for all the skiers out there. We got the snowboard version as well. This is how I fund all of the ski trips is the Evolution merch. So consider snagging a hoodie, t-shirt, long sleeve, the stickers, you know, hats, t-shirts, you know, it's all linked in the description. You do snag any of the merch. Also tag me on my Instagram so I can give you guys gear and sticker shout outs in the daily vlogs. Now food, we're gonna get hungry on the mountain and they have nine places for you to eat, ranging from fancy places to like your normal epic burger. So I gave them an eight when it comes to food, but I would recommend going into town to getting food because that's where the best food is, is like the local places around. Now employees, a lot of people say you should cover snow conditions and it's it's hard to do that. I've gone to Heavenly so many times. I've shown up and had insane powder days and I've also shown up and just had the ride park and a super slushy and still fun, but it's hit or miss. You never know what the snow conditions are because you can't control mother nature. But employees is a big deal because I've had employee ruin one of my days on at Keystone Ski Resort, which is also in my veil. So check out the, the Keystone incident right here. But once again, an employee can make or break your day. You can have an employee like carry your bags in and do something awesome and make your day. So uh, that's how we cover employees. But at Heavenly, I've never had an employee make or break my day. They've always been just like average chill people. So I give them a five when it comes to employees. Now views and scenery. You're gonna wanna go up the gondola for like the most insane view of all time. But also the cool thing about Heavenly is it's literally in between Nevada and California. So at one point you're riding in Nevada, the other point you're riding in California. It's pretty cool. The Nevada side, literally desert. California side, oh my goodness, the sickest lake view you've ever seen in your life. That's how you wanna go up the gondola. So when it comes to views and scenery, Heavenly got a nine, which is insane if they had other big gnarly mountains around them they got some but like i'm talking like big gnarly they would have got a 10 but it is really one of the best views you can see it's it's gorgeous lake tahoe it's so blue and it doesn't freeze now the would i go back factor it's kind of hard because i've gone back so many times i literally got, went like eight years in a row to heavenly i've had a blast every time i've gone and one of the cool things about heavenly is you can stay down by the casino so you can go ride in the morning go to the casinos in the afternoon or go out to nice dinners and everything like that it's just a really fun environment cool place to be around so i give them an eight on the would i go back factor because i i do enjoy going to heavenly like if i want to go on vacation heavenly is like the vacation spot Now, before I tell you who this resort is for, make sure you guys check out the resort review playlist. We've done a ton of these videos. So if you're trying to find the best place to go on a vacation, you want to compare this video to other ones, or just really you enjoyed this type of content, make sure you check out that playlist. And also if you want to check out the vlog, a vlog from this day, I've gone so many times. I made a ton of videos at Heavenly. I'm gonna pop up a Heavenly video right here. You can check that video out. The vlogs are kind of the best way to get the vibe of the day or the mountain. Check out, check out a vlog, it's fun. Now, who is this resort for? Big families and vacationers. It's mainly a vacationer mountain, I feel like. Once again, the going on vacation, staying by the, the casinos, going up, everything like that. That's who I really think this mountain is for. So if you go on vacation, stay next to Heavenly, you're gonna have a great time. Now I know you guys wanna know the score from zero to 100, what did Heavenly get? But before you do that, consider snagging the Kuno Optic Jobs Bug House Pro Series. Those goggles are still available. They are linked in the description. If you need a pair of goggles, best goggles you can buy for $87. And they're the Pro Series, they're limited edition. They will sell out eventually and then you'll be able to get a pair. So those are linked in the description. Now, out of 100, Heavenly got a smash like 70, which is an insane score. Well above average. This resort is massive. It is fun. You should definitely check it out. But is it one of our highest scores? You're gonna have to check out the resort map to check to find that out. But with that team up guys, thank you so much for reviewing a resort with me today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow with another video.